hello guys and welcome back to the channel today we have a special special mod which i don't think it's really a mod it is something that should have been there from factory from tesla but we don't have it and this is an important one so stay tuned for this little item right here and we'll show you what to do all right so as you can see here the installation is really simple we clip these two together and then the other two as well then you have the rubber gasket that goes in through here you can't come in through here because this has a closure here so it won't pop out from the end there but on this side here is the one that is open you slide it in there like we have it here now and then on the back side of these there's uh, 3m tape okay and uh, they all have 3m tape here and then the end ones have two clips that's going to go into the uh, front lid uh, there's a opening there now that we're going to take off and then clip this into it the middle part just has the um, 3m tape so basically the middle one just clips to this end here it goes on with the tape and it clips to this one and then the tapes on this side and that's really it it's a real simple install but i think it's very important that we have this on that trunk lid uh, to avoid all that water pumping in to the um, area where we have electrical stuff going on so here we go all right so we're getting ready to install that uh rubber seal first thing we're going to do is open up our trunk and here we go and just pull very gently these things are really flimsy i don't like uh, throwing them or anything like that so here is where we're going to be working at this plastic and rubber it doesn't go all the way through i don't understand why tesla will leave that open like that but uh, we're going to take this one off and we're going to take the other one off as well and then we're going to reinstall that new one that we uh, bought and um, that's going to stop that water running down here into here and then into there and uh, under here we have the battery and there's a lot of uh, electrical wires in there that uh, i'm sure that one day in the future that plenty of water is coming down into into it will cause some kind of issues so we're going to stop that from happening and uh and do this mod and this is like i said this is one of the most important mods that i've done so far on the car so here we go okay so this thing is really simple you grab your little pry tool you put it in there and just pull out and these, these things are really easy you don't really have to put too much pressure onto them they'll pop out easily they sound like they're getting all smashed up and broken but they're not and then all you have to do is just pull it off and there's a little one here at the end Take that one off and that's it okay yeah the end one only had a little piece of tape you can see there and and a little piece of tape at this other end here and two clips that's all there is on there so this we just put to the side and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and we're gonna do this one next and as you can see here same thing Try to out that's one here's the second one and then at the end here there's a piece of tape that's holding it down that's it and a little piece of tape on this side here that's simple as that okay now we have two slits here same thing on the other end and uh I think we're now ready to do the install but before we do the install we have to clean out all this here you see all that dirt under there we're gonna take off clean it side to side so all the uh, 3m tape will stick properly with no problems so let's clean it up with some alcohol and then we're ready to install the new ones all right guys so we just pulled off these things off of the car these are the factory installed rubber seal for the uh, front lid I don't know it's just a little piece one on each side that's all it is a lot of people tend to throw these things away 
but I may just keep it a little longer just in case and there's some really cool clips right there that uh, who knows these are probably stainless steel they will not uh, uh, get rusted or anything so I would keep this for a while because these clips may be better than the ones the uh, packet bring even though they look like they're kind of brass looking but uh, we don't know if it'll rust in the, in the future or not and being aftermarket we don't know until we try it out so I'm gonna keep these for a little while and then decide what to do with them later on but for now we'll keep them and the kit also comes with two more clips in case you have one with any problems you always have two more that you can uh, put away and save for a replacement if you need that in the future as well this is super handy keep it don't throw it away because you may use this many many times over and almost every kit brings one but uh, at least keep one of them with you all the time because if you need to snap something off this makes it much easier to do okay so we're going to be using a little bit of alcohol just a paper towel we're going to go ahead and spray some alcohol into the towel here and we're just going to wipe it down all the way through clean off all that dirt okay this is one side you see how dirty that is that's why we need to clean it So right under here, there's a little piece of the tape from the old molding. I'm going to take that off. Make sure you get everything off. We don't want to leave anything under here. That is going to be a problem for the new installation. Okay, we took off that little piece. Put it to the side. Get a little bit of alcohol again. Clean it up well. We just cleaned up that gooky mess we had there from the old tape. Now we're going to use... The, uh, adhesion promoter it came with the kit so I'm just gonna get, grab one of these and just rub it all the way side to side it doesn't hurt to uh, have it uh, super clean and ready for the new tape to go on there so it will last longer so we're gonna use one of these and rub it side to side from end to end here and then after that we're ready to install the uh, rubber seals All right, so we're ready to do this part now. And these little wipes are wet with adhesion promoter. So we're just gonna rub it from end to end. Make sure everything is clean and ready to put the tapes on there. So now, since we, everything is clean and ready to go, we're gonna get the first piece and the second piece, the middle piece. This is the middle piece and the end piece that goes on this side here. We're gonna clip them together and take off all the 3M tapes on both of them. You gotta take them all off. All of these gotta come off first. And um, I'm gonna take the first one off here. It's a little difficult sometimes because they're really stuck on there, so there's one and uh, we'll go on to the second one here see if we can do it fast enough or we're gonna have to speed up the process and here we go now we're ready to do the install so here we go first thing we're going to do is clip it in its place one clip second clip okay it's already holding in place 
So now we're gonna grab the third piece and do the same thing, take off the uh, tape. Take off the tape, clip it on here, and then clip the other two clips and then press in the tape. We're not ready to press everything in here yet to make sure we have it lined up well. So let's see. Okay, next thing, take off the tape again of the last and final piece. You have the clips all ready to go. I'm gonna line it up with the other one. Slide it in. There we go. All right, now all you do is just clip in the clips, one and two. Now, here's the important part. Make sure that you're gonna press in every little tape that we put in there. Make sure everything starts to stick because that's gonna help everything stay together. And we'll press it in firmly but lightly. You can see how, how flimsy this is. But uh, we're gonna try the best we can okay now we have all three pieces in place now the next thing is we're going to go ahead and slide in the rubber gasket all the way through all the way to the end and we're ready to do that next all right so the last and final step is putting in the rubber gasket in place so we're going to go ahead and slide it in here and uh, at the beginning it may be a little difficult to get it lined up but once you get it lined up, all you have to do is just pull it right through. Let me see if I can catch that well there. Little piece here. There we go. Come on. I know you can do it. Here we go. Simple. Just slide it all the way through. That's all you have to do here. Slide and slide until we get all the way to the other end. Keep on sliding. And we just reached the end. Now, there's always going to be a little piece left over. It may be for a different model, like maybe a Model Y, maybe a little wider than this one. This is the Model 3 2021 Tesla Model 3. And um, it looks like we have to cut a little bit here, and that's normal because they mentioned that. So here we go. We have the rubber gasket all the way through to the end here. Okay, and that gasket is going to sit right here. I'm not going to let all this water flush all the way in to the air conditioning air intake, and uh, it's not going to go in through there. And I took off this plastic thing here. The battery is right under here, and the battery was all like dirty and and full of uh, sand and debris and, and and all that stuff. So. Uh, this is gonna help that keep it a little bit cleaner and not have all that water pour down into this section here where you have a lot of electrical conditions, wires, connections, and so on and so forth. So this is gonna stop that. All we have to do now is just cut it at the end here, flush, and then we're done. Okay, so we're getting ready to cut here. And uh, you see the end it is right there so there's a plastic right there so we're just going to cut it in right at the edge the other way you can do this you can mark it and then get a scissors and just cut it right off uh, here we're just going to go ahead and match the edge there and cut right through very little by little little by little we just marked it so we can pull it out a little bit and now we're ready to cut all the way through like we just did there's a little piece that's left over and then we just push in and that's it now we're completely done and this rubber that we just put in there cut flush here it's gonna sit all the way through here like right around this section here when you bring down the hood and that's gonna hit right there and it's not gonna allow all that water to flow into this section here all right guys so here we have the finished product and we're ready to test it out let's see how it you can see let me see what we can see here you see how close it is to that edge there that's as far as i can close without interfering with the camera let me see if we can see anything on this side and uh i don't know if you can see too much on there but it's going to go down and sit right where we need it to avoid that big issue this kit comes with everything you need 
it comes with the the little pry tool so you can pry off the two pieces that are there from factory it comes with the adhesion promoter it comes with uh the three pieces that one two and three and it comes with the rubber gasket a little bit longer so you have to cut it at the end there and that's basically it this is going to avoid a lot of issues in the future from a lot of water flowing into areas that shouldn't be flowing into all right so we're done with the installation and um so the complexity of the install is really simple for us that have a lot of experience doing things like this um, i call it uh one for the install uh difficulty um for someone who hasn't done it before maybe a two that's it that's how simple it is to install this device so um don't hesitate get one there's a link right below here at the comment section of this video and get yours put it on there save your tesla from a problem in the future so if you have any questions or anything you want to ask don't forget to ask right here in the comment section of this video all right guys job completed we're happy with the install everything came out super good and i highly recommend that you do this to your tesla if it doesn't have that piece in the middle like that like ours i recommend that you do it and avoid a lot of issues in the future all right so thank you so much for watching the video and if you like the video don't forget to like and most of all subscribe to our channel click on that little button all the way in the bottom here or actually here and uh, subscribe to our channel and that'll help us grow and thank you so much for watching the video and thank you so much for your support and like I always say get Tesla right here and charge on, baby.